Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing my birthday haul slash end of the year. Uh, since I work at a school, a lot of the families are very generous uh, and also my co-workers gave me gifts for my birthday and end of the year. So I thought I would share just everything with you and even things that I have collected since my last haul video. And my birthday was June 28th, which was the last day of school in the New York City area and I just feel so lucky because it was a great way to end the year and just I've had a great birthday so far so I'm very 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 uh, grateful for that so just starting off randomly uh, I got this is not even for me this is uh, actually a coupon from Petco it was if you follow me on Instagram it was a buy dog food uh, it could have been worth up to $50 and 8 pounds. And so I got Ava a 4 pound bag of dog food by Castor and Pollux that was worth $24 and it was for free. So this is legit. If you guys are sitting on this, please go. I think they only mailed it to certain people. I don't know how they worked that out. But I did get her the dog food and I was very happy to get that. And I tried to put this video up today because it expires the coupon expires july 4th okay next is this my magic mud whitening tooth powder and so this is the box uh and this is just a tar charcoal toothpaste so it's it's very messy i haven't tried it yet it's very messy and just looks crazy your mouth gets all black uh so i'm not gonna open it but it says my magic mud whitening tooth powder uh, may would activate a charcoal and clay. So I got this at the store called 99 Ranch, which is kind of like an Asian market, and I figured they would have that kind of stuff. And I was always I've seen it on Instagram, you know, the videos, and I've also read about it and saw other people do it on YouTube. So I thought I would try it. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I'm kind of scared to, and I lost the spatula for it. Uh, next is this is the Cetaphil Daily Advanced Lotion uh, my mom got some at Costco and you know they give everything everything to you in bulk so I decided she asked me if I wanted it and I said sure okay next thing is a birthday present to myself which I have to take it out of the packaging here is a suitcase now I do have a old I mean, it's not even that old. It's um, Swiss gear, I think. Suitcase from Target, which I love. But I wanted to get a more modern uh, hard case, spinny wheel uh, suitcase. So that is what I got. It. It's a Samsonite one. It's a carry-on size because most of 9 out of 10 times, that's what... I don't remember the last... Oh, when I went on a cruise and you don't have to worry about check luggage or anything like that. Like you would an airplane. So um, I got it in white and it is just so pretty. The wheels spinner all the way around and it's a hard case and the, I just love the white. Um, you could get it on Amazon, was the cheapest that I found. Uh, Macy's, they do a whole bunch of sales and things like that. But I found that Amazon was the cheapest and they do have a few colors to choose from if you're interested. It was less than $100. Okay, next. This is from JCPenney and if you guys are like me, I have a really hard time wearing liner socks. I always find that my feet sweat too much or like the socks come off or they don't really stay on. They just... The ones that I've tried have just not ever stayed on my foot. The back will come off. The front will come off. Uh, but I found these at JCPenney. They're called the Mix It. That's the brand Mix It Essentials Liner Socks. And they look like this. And I didn't think anything of it. but So I had gotten a pair with pineapples on them. And I love them so much that I got this one. Uh, so they all come with the black, a nude, and then a print. And then I got this one that's a print. And then I got just these two nude ones. 
these are amazing especially for the summertime when you don't like let's say you're wearing sneakers and you don't want to wear heavy socks or just even thin socks these are just great to put on with sneakers flats whatever you want to do and i even saw if you wear like open toe shoes they have ones with open toe so i would check these out they have grips around them on the inside that makes it just stick to your foot so these are amazing my sister loves them as well just in case you wanted a second opinion and then the thing that i'm most excited about is this lunch bag so they were also the reason i went to jc penny well i really wanted to get those socks but also they were having a ten dollars off 25 and i did use it on this lunch bag and so it looks like this and it's a little bit bigger than your average lunch bag. I know everybody has the built New York ones that are stretchy. And I do have something like that. But I've always wanted um, something like this. And you could use it. It doesn't even have to be. If you wanted to, you could use it as something other than a lunch bag. But there's a front packet here. I love this print. It's I think it's flowers. I'm not exactly sure. I thought for a second it was birds. But it's definitely not birds. Uh, it comes with... Uh, a water bottle but also space if you want to switch it out and then when you open it it's insulated and easy to clean and then they give you an ice pack and also uh two containers and if you're really watching your weight they they have uh measurements on them and i just wanted something with straps and something that i could fit um lots of things into and maybe i thought um, because I carry such a big bag to work, maybe I could bring a smaller bag to work if I put stuff into here and I could put my coffee in here and snacks throughout the day. Uh, so yeah, I just thought this was a really good find and they were having a sale. So this was 47 which I would never pay $47 for. But they, so it was, then it was, I think, 29 and then take $10 off, it was $19. So for $19, I would definitely get this. Um, and I did and I just think it's awesome and it lays flat down. It's not going to topple over so Really excited about that And I could also use it not just for work, but also for uh, Let's say we're going to the beach. I'll stuff it with food Okay, next let me show you some stuff that I got from school So one of the families they got me an Alex and Annie necklace, which I didn't even take out of the bag, but it's uh it's not the one that you normally think of the the silver or the gold one this is just the, you know what let me take it out so you guys could actually see it i know i'm terrible i've been doing videos for how long and i just it's a learning process so this is what it looks like and it's funny because all of my Alex and Annie stuff or Alex and Annie stuff come from uh the place that i work so it looks like this and I love this. I think this is something that I wouldn't buy for myself. Uh, but I think it's super cool. The, the studs I guess on there and the color is green. I just think that's so pretty. What is it called exactly? Let's see. Depths of the Wild Wrap Verdant Aura. So she was real. She, that family was great. The mom was amazing. So friendly and she uh in christmas time she gave me mark jacobs earrings which i was just like oh my goodness thank you so much but i found out recently that she loves the golden girls i felt an instant connection with her i love the golden girls uh, if you did not know that about me up there is my pop uh figurines of the golden girls next is uh, I'm not going to show you, but this is the photos photos of me and the kids that they, uh, the class parent did a collage of, which I thought was so nice. And she uh, got, um, she was just a great uh, class parent all around. She wrote a really nice card. And then one family, they gave me hot sauce, which I am in love with their hot sauces. So they gave me these two. Um, the green one, I don't love as much as this one. This one is so good. I used it up in like less than three weeks. I would say less than a month, which is crazy since it's so spicy. But I am so happy and I'm going to miss them because I won't get any more hot sauces. I have to ask them if I could buy it from them because it is that good. 
and they make it themselves. They ferment it and do all the things that are involved with making hot sauces. Okay, so they, the mom is an artist of that family, so she drew me a fox on the front of my card, and then this box decoration. I think this is beautiful, and I love that there's a rose on the fox, so that family, amazing. And then, let's continue on with school. So that was more end of the year stuff. For, oh, and then this is another... You know what? Let me continue with that. So, uh, the school aide at the office, uh, at the office at work, she gave us a uh, wild blackberry preserves, and then uh, wheat thins to put it to put the preserves on, and then she's so cute and a spreadable knife, which I think is adorable. I mean, does this this doesn't cost a lot, but it's I think it's such a cute gift. And, and there I am giving everybody mini bottles of sangria. So, <laughs> I'm terrible at giving gifts. Okay. Uh, so, uh, another family, they also gave me a lunch bag. But I might give this. This is actually a really good size, too. Um, it has a pocket, insulated. So, I might give this to my mom or maybe my sister to see if she wants it. Uh, and then... I've always wanted this and I'm so happy that I got it as a gift so this is one of those round beach towels and I think it looks so cool in pictures and just a different way to I guess carry a towel uh, to the pool or the beach I'm not gonna open the whole thing but this print is amazing and I just am so excited I love the fringe I can't wait to bring this to the beach and I am more than likely going back to Florida. Not saying I'm going to bring this, but because my friend, I'm sure, has towels and stuff. Uh, but uh, because I'll be staying at her place and the one that got married, she's going on a honeymoon. So I'm going to Cat's It, which is super exciting. Okay, so that's not going to go back into the bag. But look how cute this bag is. Um, oh, you know what? Before, I don't even know if you noticed, but there's that. And then... There's that. I gave blood. Um, I didn't give. I'm sorry. I got. I I went to the lab to get my blood and urine checked out and everything. And the girl knew what she was doing, but I felt like she was in a rush. So she, um, because they were backed up. So I was just like, why don't you try this arm instead? And that's the arm that she took the blood out of. But I gave it. It's done, and I'm fine. Uh, my teacher she gave me this box bag, which you th would think that after all the fox stuff I've gotten that I would get tired of it and I don't because there's always something new I don't have a, a fox bag that I can um, put extra stuff in so that's awesome and I'm thinking of switching it up a little bit next year because this year I was just all about yeah I love foxes if there was a fox in a book I'd be like oh hey it's a fox in a book and the kids all knew that I loved it but I'm thinking next year I'm gonna do either mermaid or unicorn just because I, I don't want to be known as Fox Girl. So I got that. And then uh, one of my coworkers, they gave me uh, this bag, which you could always use a bag. And I'm thinking of putting my makeup in there or brushes for, uh, for a trip. Uh, my teacher, she also got me for my birthday a Sephora gift card, which I'm like, yes, I love it. So I'm super excited about that. Um, another coworker got me this was this a co-worker no this was a student uh masked almond butter chocolate and she wrote her name on there her name is Susie. but wait which way she writes the z backwards which is super cute uh so got that and then another family they gave me this tea towel which i think is amazing so it looks like that and I feel like I mean people use this stuff right I feel like it's so pretty I can't use it but I'm gonna try to not be silly and use the stuff and then this is what I was gonna talk about which uh, my co-work gave me it says it contains 20 push pins and look at them they're so cute oh my goodness I love stuff like this so right up my alley and then let me just double check there's nothing else in this bag Okay, 
I'm so glad that I didn't get a bunch of chocolate because I just had to clean through all the chocolate that I got from Christmas from Valentine's Day and I don't mean to sound ungrateful but I have chocolate that I like I I have to be in a specific mood to eat chocolate and so I'm glad I don't have to worry about where I'm gonna put the chocolate okay next is just I'm gonna save the best for last but that's not for a little bit uh, I went to Bloomingdale's my boyfriend actually told me about uh Bloomingdale's had a pop-up pop-up shop of Korean beauty products so it was so cool glam and so I got he got the core six I think that's how to say it or core sx uh toner and I got I like skin food products so I got the rice brightening scrub foam and if you Instagram while you were there you also got a sample of you could pick whatever products I chose the black sugar mask uh, also by skin food oops upside down so I got those things and then oh a bunch of stuff from Target so let me open my desk so I can lay it on top uh, I am going to be needing a new moisturizer soon so I got the Misha super aqua cell renew snail cream and this smells so good but look at this packaging lux i might add so target has like a really small section of korean beauty products near their kind of organic makeup section if you want not makeup skincare section if you want to check that out i needed a new toner so i got the number seven beautiful skin soothing toner for dry very dry skin and my skin while it's not dry i've been doing a new acne regimen so it's gotten a little bit drier so i um i wanted to get this one and then makeup wise, I haven't gotten as much makeup as I have gotten in the past, but I did pick up a few things. So I, when I came back from Florida, I was super tan and all the makeup that I, all the foundation that I was putting on was so light on me. And I remember going through a foundation period where I would just um, even though it was too dark, I would wear it just because I didn't love the foundation. So now I have no dark foundations to uh, put on, darker foundations to put on my skin. So I picked up, which I love this foundation. It's the CoverGirl Post Olay Simply Ageless. And I'm usually, I think, 230 and I got 245 warm beige. And this, I could even go... So this is perfect for me now. I'm not wearing this now, by the way. Uh, but I think I could even go darker. So I think I'm going to pick up another one. Maybe not this one, but another foundation that I know I like. Because uh, because I while you can correct things with powders, darker powders, and uh, which I also have to get darker powder to match. Um, but you could fix also with bronzers. I just, I don't know, sometimes I feel like that looks really fake. So I'd rather get a foundation that matches. And I'm not going to get the same amount of foundations that I have now, just a couple more darker foundations. I also got the Essence Color Correcting Mattifying Powder. And then um, I wanted to try the Super, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and this is in the color Believer, so it's the one in these square tubes. And then I also got uh, two NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, and I used to really not like these in the beginning, but they apply, um, they're matte, so they should be drying, but they're not, so that's really great. This is San Paolo, and then this is the, I really, I saw somebody put this on a video, so I'm super excited to try it, hopefully, and she has, she's Asian like me, so hopefully it'll work out. Uh, this is Abu Dhabi. Okay, and then from, you guys know, it's not going to be a haul without something from Macy's, so. Oh, first, Uniqlo. Uniqlo, I think, is phasing out. If you've never uh, been to Uniqlo, they have this line called Airism, and it's kind of like undershirts. Um, I usually wear it under a t-shirt or a tank top, so they're phasing out. They're the ones that they originally came out with that had seams, and now they're just going for seamless. I like both of them, um, but the seamless, the se ones with the seams are heavily reduced. So I got the one in black. I know black for summertime, but I 
I have a black and when it's in the wash, I would like to have an extra one. And then I got the, well, this one doesn't say the color, but it's kind of a blue, a light blue. Okay. And then now on to Macy's. I saw this really cool hat, so I wanted to get that. And I feel like this hat actually looks really cute on me. Let me say that. And it looks awful. So, yeah, I just wanted... I have a Panama hat, but I kind of like that this one stays up a little bit. So, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute. So, I wanted to... If I say so one more time, please turn this video off. I beg you. Okay. Uh, next is a pair of jeans from Style & Co. You guys know I love these jeans. And the I already have a great pair. But the left leg, it the seam wants to go like in the middle of my leg. So uh, none of my... Uh, there go with so again. None of my other pants do that. That I got from Style & Co. So I just got another pair because I do like them so much. And it's a skinny leg one. I also got the same, but in dark blue. This shirt, uh, the brand is Junk Food, and I thought this was super cute. It says Heartbreaker, and I thought I could wear this as PJs or um, with shorts for the summer. I also got these Adidas leggings. I could wear them for sleeping or if I want to work out one day. Uh, then a sports bra. This is the one uh, from the brand Ideology. Uh, also for working out. And I actually like to use sports bras for uh, for sleeping. I know. It's like you wear a bra to sleep. But I just feel more comfortable. And, and I thought this was such a fun print. And then I got these shorts from Free People. So wouldn't that look cute with the Heartbreaker t-shirt? I think so. Got those. And then the last thing from Macy's is this dress by Guess. I tried it on the wrong way and I'm like, something is wrong here. Okay. So. Again, it's sort of like a cold shoulder. Isn't that pretty? So uh, the print is fun and... Um, the top is really pretty and it just flows so I'm really happy with this dress and it's so funny because that so doesn't count right um, it's funny because before the wedding of my friend's wedding in June I was going crazy looking for a new dress and now I see so many dresses that I would love to have worn but I think that's the way it goes uh, and then the last thing I want to share with you which I am very excited about is uh, the presents from my sister. So she got me, she wanted to give me, she got me the main gift uh, a few days before my actual birthday, but she wanted to give me something for on the day of my actual birthday. So she got me these masks that you could use uh, with your own mixture face mask. And then she got this for me and my boyfriend to use together. So one is uh, Homer and the other is Marge, which I thought was so funny. A few samples in here, and then this is the face shop. I mean, this is all the face shop. And what is this? I don't know. Mini pet fruits. I think it's a hand cream. How cute is that? And also, this poopery before you go toilet spray so something that's you know looks uh it's small it's gonna it fits in your purse or wherever uh everybody does it and this stuff does work i've tried it a few times and they're pretty cool so it's, the names are so funny trap a crap call of the wild they're funny. Deja poo. <laughs> so, yeah, she got me this. I gave her this one because um, I didn't really care for the scent. And then the main gift from Longchamp 
is another Longchamp bag. And it's the Neo one where it's all one color. So I wanted the one in black. So the handle's black, the, this part is black, and then the inside is black as well. So I love this and I'm so excited to have it. Uh, she did really well and she actually got me my other Longchamp bag and that still is good. There's a little bit of uh, breakage at the bottom corner but that she has the same thing happen to her and there's a little fly flying around. Uh, so I love this and I'm so grateful that she got me another one to add to my collection. Those I feel like these are workhorse bags. Like I use mine all the time and it ca carries a bunch of stuff so I love them okay so that is my birthday haul slash end of the year school haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and I am on my summer break I could totally get into that mode of staying up late and waking up very late so I'm trying to think of things to do um, and so we'll see how that goes I don't know I mean I love the fact that I have summer off but sometimes like I'm like I I also like working because it gives me a routine it gives me a schedule that um, I got to figure out things that I want to do and just I'm only I'm gonna go away on vacation but that's only at the very end of summer so any ideas on what I could do to fill my time that's productive and worthwhile let me know Again, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!